It's only when I go abroad and I see what is out there and I come back and I measure against what is here, there is no comparison to beauty. Some writings of our history, it is said that Christopher Columbus called it Bella Fauna, meaning beautifully formed. Natural, beautiful, peaceful. <laughs> Yes, I get emotional. That's why I'm here. <laughs> One of the fascinating things about nature, there is always something new. And especially in the tropics where there's such wide diversity, persons can experience and have the awe associated with some of the beaches we have, aquatic life we have, some of the fascinating birds we have within a day, within a short period of time. You have the Caribbean Sea on one side, you have the Atlantic Ocean on the other side. On our doorstep, a fringe reef that wraps around the entire area. You have this huge amount of biodiversity and uh, you know, liveliness of the entire water that surrounds the island. We also do bioluminescent nighttime tours, which are like uh, an escape into the deep, dark secrets of this you know, glowing phenomenon. It's like this almost cosmic effect. It's just something to be seen. I know everybody in the village. <laughs> and everybody know me. That is the nice thing about here. Tobago as used to the extended family. There was always a grandmother, aunt, or uncle. There was always love. We eat and we drink, we laugh, and everything together. Tobago, in one word to me, beautiful. Beautiful place to live. It gives me great pleasure to be in Tobago and do what I do. The sunsets here are hardly bar none, some of the nicest I've seen. I would describe Tobago as one of the clean, serene, and the best place that anyone could come. Be easy, be happy, and have a good time. There is nothing to compare to. This little dot called Tobago exists, and come visit. <laughs>